I'll give you some guidance on a hand calculation you can do to estimate the deformation you would get from the thermal strain, and that's something you can check against the ANSYS results. So the thermal strain is the change in length that we expect due to applying, you know, due to change in temperature over a length, so that's a strain, that's equal to alpha times delta T. That's a coefficient of thermal expansion. That's something we already specify in the material properties. Um, and delta T is the change in temperature. So here we have, so it's going to be, you know, it's going to be 700 at the end um, that we specified on the tabular data and minus initially everything is at 70, okay? So delta T is that. Alpha is, comes from the material properties. And then L is, so what should the length be? And if I, you know, I'm fixing, we'll be fixing the model here. And as I expand, as I um, heat it, you know, it's going to expand uh, both in the uh, radial direction as well as in the axial direction. But the expansion in, you know, in this direction is going to be the, the largest because the L is the largest there. So I can estimate, you know, I'll take this as delta L and then this would be my L, this whole thing if I can draw it here, pardon my chicken scratch. This whole thing is L. So this has to be in the in the Z direction. I have trouble drawing straight lines as my uh, daughter reminds me. And so from that I can determine delta L and that gives me an estimate of you know how much deformation I should see in the model. And I'll have you work through this in the uh, in the exercises.